weed industry. So your business is called Shift Cannabis? Yep. And that's like the dispensary, that's everything, or what? So we don't have any dispensaries in Colorado. We have some dispensaries, medical dispensaries, three of them down in New Mexico, one in Santa Fe, two in Albuquerque. In Colorado, in the recreational market, um, we do flour, uh, bulk flour, pre-packed flour, and pre-rolled joints, and then we do concentrates. Right now, we've got vape pens, but we're, we'll be bringing out some, uh, some dabbables uh, here shortly. So you make those and then and then we those. yeah we sell them and distribute those out to uh, dispensaries. So okay. we're in about we're in about forty dispensaries right now. Okay, that's a lot of dispensaries. So would you say you said you have pre-packed flour? What's the most? Are you kind of like we just joked about Costco? Can I come buy straight from you like six pounds of weed? No, no, What's I wish you can't. Yeah, no, it has to move into a licensed dispensary and then you can buy your one ounce at a time. As a recreational patient, or so, a recreational customer, rather. What if I wear a helmet? Well, you can Two run ounces? through any wall, whatever you need. Yeah, thank you can just talk you. to a doctor first. Yeah. You know. I mean, he's told me a lot. I've, we've only been here for a short period, but I, I believe he's going to believe you. Yeah. yeah. We, we have a lot of issues. We work it out every week on this podcast. So thank you for the therapy session. I just needed someone to watch. I got out. your back. Yeah, I just need a spot. My wife taught drink. me how to be a good listener. There you go. <laughs> nice. Shout out why. Um, so... Did you just, did you not want to get into the, why don't, like, so I'm just curious is you just don't want to get into the dispensary game or? You oh, no, I, I mean, look, the, a couple of different things. So there's the real business side of it that the dispensaries are faced with the most 280E taxation. This is the, the uh, crack dealer law. You can deduct the cost of the cocaine you bought, but you can't deduct the security and the pagers and the baking soda and anything else you want to do to turn it into crack, right? Only cost of goods sold. So when you're sitting at a dispensary, those early dispensary owners, especially the big ones, uh, they got met with a lot of 280E taxation. This is phantom taxation that you have to pay. So that side sucked. Uh, but we have the, you know, the Green Dream dispensary that, that we're in there. But, you know, truth of the matter is not all partnerships work. And while Reed and I are still great friends and partners, you know, we had, we had some disagreements with, with our third partner. And, you know, we're, we're still doing and trying out there and trying to make that work, but we haven't been able to give it the love and attention that, frankly, we would have liked to and deserve. And any of the listeners that knew that, that brand and that store, you know, 2010 to 2015, they know. It they fucked. know. Yeah. Yeah. It I, fucked back then, and these days it, it got fucked. I feel like you either live long enough but, to you know, we, we or you, you're you're a, you turn, you, you, see, star. you see yourself to, uh, yeah. Fade a, a, but we'll, we'll be back in that game at some point. I just I love serving weed to people. I love talking to people too much to to not be in that retail environment. I won't tell but, you that. No, but I, 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 I like the dispensary side. But I can get my brand to more people. Um, you know the the reality is there's a lot of money coming into cannabis, and most of those people love cannabis money and don't necessarily love cannabis. Maybe some of them do smoke weed. Maybe they used to smoke weed a little bit. But not all of them have the appreciation that my squad has. And well, not a, I mean, some folks are just capitalists. They're, they're, and, and again, no, no fault to them. But if that's the only people that are bringing a trustworthy brand that, you know, get into the menu here that I want to come here and count on something. Fucking fried right? chicken sandwich. Fucking fried chicken sandwich. There's no legs and thighs at Avery. What? I um, just saw someone come out to, with some legs and thighs. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know. We're, they were, were so bomb break. legs and thighs, guys. But... You, a brand is about consistency, and it's about not buying the product, but what's the emotion I'm buying with it. And it can't just be pure capitalistic brands out there. So I wanted to give something. And so that's why we call ourselves Shift Genuine Cannabis, right? That's our tagline, Genuine Cannabis. And I think it's all about the adventure. I don't think there's any better adventure than finding a genuine experience. Um, you know, whatever that might be, a conversation, a place in the world you've never been, a country that you've never seen, whatever it is, you know, that is something that I want to provide because not all the people that love weed are couch stoners, you know, and no knock and no judgment on couch stoners. I am when I smoke the pre-98 Bubba, but I also smoke the weed everywhere else and go do all of my things, you know, study for school, climb mountains, raise my kids, all that shit. I, I do agree. Taking kids through the public school system here, though, you know, it's, it's, it's still one of those situations where 
I will do my first parent teacher conference, and in the second one, I will let them know what I do for a living, right? And just and 50% of them were like, oh yeah, that's cruel. And then some 50% of them were like, I wouldn't have expected that. I I thought, okay. Does the sleeve tat give off a, do you go sleeves up when you go in there and be like, hey, by the way, I'm the lawyer, but also a dope dealer. Oh uh, man, I'm the cool dad. I never wear sleeves all the way down. I, 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 mean, I learned I reason, learned huh? selling the software during law school, and I started Dealers Link. If you don't have them rolled up, them cats don't think you're working. You got to roll up the cuffs, make sure folks know you're working. That's why my hoodie sleeves are always rolled up in the spring. Shout out to those 50 degree mornings. I love that. That's them. right. That's right. So, yes, we we still got ways to go. We still got to break down some of those stereotypes, but we're more open. We're more open, certainly in Colorado and some of these other states around here. When I go home to Wyoming, you know, ranchers, just people down there with the weed stuffs. Is it? Is there still a lot of that weed stuffs down there? Like I told you, I've seen Yellowstone. Kevin Costner is a straight shooter. I imagine everybody up in that area is now just like him. So it's a no-nonsense game up there. You know, it's desert or it's mountain law. Western. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we do have a couple more questions we want to ask before we kind of get to know a little bit more about you and your favorites around town. You've obviously been here for a while. But this is, since you're, you know, an owner, you're a very hands-on guy, you love the Doja game. We asked this question to our friend Zach from the clinic, and we're going to ask you now. How do you come up with such stupid fucking names for weed? And when are we going to change that? I have no idea when we're going to change it. However, I can tell you how we come up with our names. All right, let's go. For the vast majority of our names, we're paying heritage and homage to those cats that had to do it in the dark and that might be locked up. Very rarely, we never just take a clone that we got from somebody that was named something and just name it something else. That is not okay. something that's acceptable so you have to like us. A Tyrone Biggins line. We got it. We got to draw it out there. We got to try it out there. This is this is some heritage and some homage. We're not going to cross over it. Now, if we get seeds and we pop those seeds, then we can name those. We're pheno hunting, so now it's our right to name those. But we're still going to name them something that's connected to the original breeders, what they named it. We're not going to just go off the rails to the left and figure out some brand new crazy shit, right? So, for, I like how he's literally substituted well, the word well, shit for shift and everything yeah. he says. That's great. That's like Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. No, nah, man. We oh, only man. grow the good shift. We only smoke the good shift, and we genuinely are pieces of shift. Well, but, <laughs> so if I go and get, like, Bubba OG. Not to mention we got a shift made of the month. From one dispensary and get it out another, should it be from the same strain? Wait, say that again? Like, if I get the same name weed from one dispensary and get it out a different one that's the same, same name. You mean Charlie it? Lewis or an O.J. Simpson, you know, one that really, it stabs you twice. It, yeah. <laughs> you should. And that sure. is one of the things that brands are are necessary for, to bring that consistency. The problem is, is in 2010, 2011, all these clones were coming from California, right? They, they were either here, and they already came from somebody's, I mean, a lot of came from the South. I mean, Devil's Jeez, Harbor, Cur- they brought a lot of them in, brought a lot of these clones in. You have them, then you ship them off, but you weren't allowed to give them away. And you didn't want to burn your connections, so you said, call it something different. Right? The jet fuel became gas OG. Right? It was Hell's Angels OG. Well, then the whole Hell's Angels showed up and we're like, we're going to kick the shit out of you. That's our fucking trademark. So then it became Hell's Kush or Hell's OG or Hell's Bells. Right? So this is the shit that goes ACDC on. Right. ACDC. Are they still alive? Is that right? Is that right? Is that the right hair band? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. That's definitely Hell's Ooh, Bells. I was about to be really disappointed. No, no, you had it. I just couldn't remember. Everyone's dying so recently. You know, like, sorry, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I don't even know who's alive anymore. Half of the people that were on my bucket list are now dead. I can't watch Prince. Who, uh, fucking okay. go. I, mean, I was about to be like, who was on your list? Casey Anthony's kid? Of course, you know. I mean, Chili Peppers, but like on heroin. I don't want him to get addicted again, but that's not going to be half as good of a concert. I mean, I don't know I mean, if you what, want to see Travis Barker. He's still alive despite everything. Yeah, that's surprising. <laughs> I remember Cheshire Cat. I was one of the. I had that CD. You guys remember CDs? That shit was blue. Coming back to get to know you here with Travis Howard, CEO of Shift Cannabis. 
Kip's had a little bit to drink, a little bit of smoke, so we're all about there. We were kind of talking favorite weeds. Let's do a quick little rundown of Get to Know Us. What was your favorite high school crush? Who was your celebrity crush? Ooh. <sighs> was it the chick from, like, Happy Days, or was it? No, like, no. Like, Saved by the Bell? Is that a little I bit? Could, I could have probably been a Pam Anderson at that time yeah, period, right? Watch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, barbed wire. De- definitely some barbed wire, although pre-barbed wire even. Yeah. yeah. Before Tommy Lee got a hold of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kind of ruins all Pretty my hepatitis. fantasies. Right. I think she does. But back in the Labatt's Blues days when she was she was hanging out pushing beer, you yeah. know, like all my favorite crushes. God, she she was just a smoke. I'm not gonna lie. I, I mentioned her last time we asked that question. I'm I would say probably you know the other one is probably Whitney Houston. Yeah, she, she fought fucking bodyguard. Are you oh. fucking kidding me? Costner lived a pretty yeah, nice life. Crack in the days. It sounds like your 90s didn't suck either. No, know? they didn't. Partying they didn't. I had a great a great decade those 90s. But God damn. God damn. Costner gets kind of gets to run it through a bunch of different chicks. I mean, the 90s are pretty good now. So I like that. Uh, that's that's where I'm at. I'm that's thinking back. I'm gonna, I mean, we're going to be sure to tag both those ladies this week. Um, all right. So we did we did crush growing up. We've done a lot of weed talk. Let's kind of run through these so our listeners get all of his insight, but we want to also know what's the, some of the stuff that he does. Chris, you want to ask a question? What was kind of your uh, last Netflix binge? Oh, man. Netflix. Don't be the guy that works too much and never watches TV. No, no, no. I, I mean, what have I been watching? I mean, The Wire. I always yeah. rewatch The Wire. That's a you big can one there. That. Yeah. Fuck. 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 Who's your favorite Fuck. character? Idris? Ooh. No, I. No, I, I, I don't. I honestly, I don't think I have a favorite. It's one of my few shows that I'm not sure you that I seem genuinely. Like you're like the IT guy. I, not one of the criminals, right? Would have been more on my my side. Although I like the cops too, but I, I more on the criminal side. But I gen, I don't think I had a favorite from from The Wire. I really, I love that fucking show though. That was a great show. Um, Billions I've been watching lately. Um, I feel like that dialogue really kills me. It's all just like. Yeah. It's like Batman trying to have a conversation. It's like, They're just, yeah. you know, but as an attorney, like, I eat up all the business shit. Like, where they're all, oh, dude, that's so illegal. That's how you could get around. It's, it's what got me through law school. Like, th- I could do that in my business. I could figure that out. So that one was kind of intrigues me a little bit, but um, I don't know. Honestly, I mean, I got three kids. My daughters are 10 and 11. I do a whole lot of movie watching shows that you guys would never frozen like some, some Canadian horse show these these there's like 11 seasons of these I, people oh wait, this fucking like probably they're different like, shows no <laughs> no no I don't th- no, no no that one is that, what is that X rated I don't know this yeah. is NR Canadian. 19 you something you can't make it here I don't know open fences or I don't know what the hell it's called but <laughs> I, I watch that I watch that shit with my with my daughters um, I, I do a lot of watching that stuff I can't tell you how many times I've watched Moana in the last two years I hear that one slaps. It has a soundtrack that actually plays pretty well. Though. I fucking love Moana. Every time I get, I'm like, dude, I just, I wish I could be her. You just let it go. You just get there and just, all oh, your dreams thought, come true. I thought Frozen <laughs> was the biggest one. Oh, you know, the That's girls, the they sang. Crowd. Elsa, they did it. I mean, we went to Disney World. They saw the parade. They were like, oh, my God, there's the princess. But they're past that shit. Favorite part of Disney World? It's my favorite part of Matterhorn. Can I agree? Disagree. You know, it, it is what it is. The reason is, is because I've taken my children on there. That's what made them scared the shit out of them. That then I got to like be the dad. That and that was the one, it. right? Yeah. Fast pass. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. My wife would murder me if we didn't have the fast pass. Did y'all ever do? And I'm sorry, these. Are I did the Disney parents. cruise back when I was 13. We did that too. Best part of that entire cruise, my stepbrother was 12, couldn't go into the teen club. Chicks, I was in. He was on the outside. I'm like, fuck you. Big Red Boat, I think is what it was called. Yeah, Had you got to... people on the dude, plan and all that damn Dude, they thing. take you, you like to, to the real them. Gilligan's Island. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, do you guys... You guys that was, did, a, show, that was a show I watched on the regular, man. Like, I mean... I legit... The movie star could get it. 
I she mean, can still get. I'd give it to her a ripe uh, eighty-nine or whatever. Is that, she is that Ginger or the other one? I don't even know. Ginger was the, no. Ginger. There was Ginger and somebody else. Well, all I know Marianne? is Marianne. Marianne. She could also get it. I Marianne watched that laying at my she grandparents' house in Minnesota. Picnic.